Pre on board, Wednesday, everybody. Just having a rhubarb chocolate wheat beer experiment. A lot of hops in there. This is what a 15 take, and somebody obviously get distracted all the time. But anyway, make this short and sweet this week. What's happened this week? We seed my little package this week. What I ordered some, I ordered the grains last week, and I ordered some malt extract a couple of weeks ago to come this week. So, I what I ordered was. Brought um liquid well, light malt extract. That's all been properly now. One point five kilos. Coopers is ten quid. Five forty five. And I've used it before. I got two packs of medium malt and two packs of SO5 yeast. And what I'm doing is me. Real bad beer. So I'm using two of these to make two two brews, one tonight, one tomorrow, for the real bad beer. So I've got plenty of real bad. I've got the grain steeping over there, which is 200 grams of marasite, 150 grams of flake wheat malt. It's you want a torrified flake wheat malt, I've got wheat malt, marasite, bell malt. 500 grams of medium dry spray malt, 500 grams of brewing sugar, kilo and a half rhubarb, hops, fuggles, 30 grams at 30 minutes, 15 grams at 15 minutes. And it's all steeping in at the moment, it's in six litres of water. So I've got another, another half an hour to steep. So that's what I've ordered. I've ordered so like four of these tins. Can't go wrong, so 20 quid, 22 quid, and it would have cost me 40 quid, so I can't go wrong. So, so that leaves me two of them spare, so I don't know whether to use them for the extract version of the drop kit in there. Still got to get some bits and bobs for that, slowly but surely, I'll get there. Hoping the hops won't be out of date by the time I get to them. So that's them, so that's my brew that I'm doing now on the Home Brew Wednesday. Also, I received some email. I received some. I received it from Mark Eno. And I received a Timothy Taylor clone. And that is a 4.2%, 27 for the 4th, 2015. It is a dark velvet stout. And a hoppy copper bitter, 4.7%. So the hoppy copper bitter was the additions was 500 grams of DME, a kilo of bro brewing sugar, and 30 grams of East Kent Goldens. The Tim Fertile, which is which is his own whole grain, that had gold 30 grams of Goldens and 50 grams of Syrian Goldens. Tag on, I'll put it away. And the Velvet Stout from Wilco's 5.3%, 500 grams of DME, kilo of brewing sugar. Half a tin of black treacle and 30 grams of Willamette. So, thanks very much, Matt. Much appreciated. Wasn't expecting that. That was the first pass that I come this week, which I thought was the malt extract. So, I was quite chuffed. I thought, oh, it's coming early. And it was beer that came first without this one. So, this one got sent back to them. the courier. And nobody was in to take it. So, what else has happened this week? There was something else I was going to say, and I completely forgot now. I get this brew made up because I ain't done a brew for a few weeks. Honestly, I don't know what's happening when I lost his job, so I'd already bought it before I knew something was happening. So I'm doing two real bad beers this week. I'm hoping on the weekend I'll do that American IPA where I bought the grains from Idle Valley. So I'm hoping to do that weekend, hoping, fingers crossed. See what happens that weekend. We should go to the gym Saturday morning. So I'll maybe start the, the brew first thing in the morning before she, just after she, after she goes. I'm sure there was something else I was going to say to you. I told you it was going to be short and sweet. No. So I got the greens last week. I got the me lands for me keg last week. And some the disconnects. 
Just need, just need to get the rest of the bits. Oh, that's what I asked you. I bought all the all the new seals, washers for the taps and all that for the keg. And also, I've seen a few videos going on people changing their poppets on them. Good, yeah, they're, they're expensive, aren't they? I've, I've, on some websites, you buy it. The ones that I've got is rubber spring and like a little claw on the bottom. Some websites sell them at 10 quid each, but you could buy the bloody top of the cap, top gas in and out for this for 12 quid. But then you get they're 10 quid each, then you get another website that's sending them with rubber on the top spring, and that's it. And you're getting two, two of them for eight quid from Ked King, Ked Kingdom. I don't know if anybody else has tried them. Does it matter which one you buy? Can you just stick both in? It says universal. I think, thinking universal, I, mean, I can use the gas or the, the, the line in, line out. So I'm hoping I can. I don't want to compromise and buy so much of a cheap one than having to go buy an expensive one later on. But if I bought two of them poppets from the site, which is going to cost me 20 quid plus post packaging. That's near as much as the bloody kick cost me. So I've changed everything else. So I still need to get it gas tested to make sure it doesn't leak. But it, they may not even leak. But at least if I've got, got them, I know I'm, it's going to be bob on. So anyway, I've waffled on. Talks a lot of rubbish. So thanks for watching. I'll let you know how the brew gets on probably on the next brew, on brew Wednesday. Thanks very much, Mac, Mac and O, for the beers. Much appreciate when I wasn't expecting them. So, cheers guys, catch you all later, and sorry for boring you, making you all fall asleep. Cheers.